today's video i am going to discuss some of the important questions from chapter 1 real numbers these are one mark questions frequently asked by cbse board so the first question today we are going to discuss is if hcf of a and b equal to 12 and a into b equal to 1800 then find the lcm of a and b seeing this question you should not get scared this is a very simple question already we have studied the relation hcf into lcm is nothing but product of numbers here the product of num here the numbers are a and b so to confuse you they have given like this hcf of two numbers a and b into lcm of two numbers a and b is nothing but a into b that means product of the numbers now see in the data they have given hcf of two numbers is 12 so substitute in the place of hcf we have to find out what is lcm so we'll write that lcm of a and b now a into b is given as 1800 now we have to find out lcm of a and b we know that this is 12 into lcm when you transpose to the other side this multiplication will become division so divide this now simplify this you can cancel this 600 divide by 4 again you can cancel 300 divide by 2 which is nothing but 150 so lcm of two numbers is nothing but 150 so this is a very simple question you have to keep in your mind hcf into lcm is nothing but product of numbers now second question is calculate the hcf of 3 to the power of 3 into 5 and 3 square into 5 square so we know the hcf we have to write the smallest power for example 3 to the power of 3 into 5 and 3 square into 5 square for the power of 3 which is small which is the smallest power 2 so hcf will be 3 square and here 5 to the power of 1 and 5 to the power of 2 1 or 2 which is smaller 1 so 5 to the power of 1 so the hcf will be 9 into 5 which is equal to 45 and when you write this you have to be careful that the term should be present in both the terms for example if they have given like this what will be the hcf the 5 is not present in this term so you will not write the 5 hcf will be just 3 to the power of 2 Question number three. Explain why you can see a big number, which is a composite number. You have to explain why it is a composite number. We know that composite number is a number which is having more than two factors. Now, why it is a composite number? Seeing that big number itself, you got scared, no? But you need not be need not be scared. It is very simple. Can you say what is the <coughs> this number ends with which digit? The number ends with digit 5 right the number ends with digit 5 this will be your first point now if it ends with digit 5 surely it is a multiple of 5 it is a multiple of 5 therefore we can say that it is a composite number the big number is a composite number it has got more than two factors so you need to write only these two steps the number ends with 5 therefore it is a multiple of 5 and we know that it is a composite number now question number 4 what is the hcf of smallest composite number and smallest prime number so which is the smallest composite number smallest composite number is it 1 i have mentioned in my previous video that one is neither prime nor composite so which is the smallest composite number smallest composite number is 
4 and which is the smallest prime number of course it is 2. Now what is the HCF of so the question has reduced to or simplified to the HCF of 4 and 2. We know 4 I can write 2 square and 2 is nothing but 2 to the power of 1 and just now we have seen HCF you should write the smallest power 1 or 2 which is small 1 so HCF is 2 to the power of 1 or HCF is 2. Write whether the rational number 7 by 75 will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So, we know that any rational number p by q will have a terminating decimal expansion if the denominator q is of the form 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n. So, here our rational number is 7 by 75, denominator is 75. I am going to factorize and see 75. So, it will go in 3, 25, 5. Now, the denominator 75 I can write as 3 to the power of 1 into 5 to the power of 2. Can you say whether it is terminating decimal or non-terminating repeating decimal? Here, the denominator is not of the form 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n. Here we have 3. So, this is, we can say that it is non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. This is one of the important one mark question. If you want more clarification, I have done a video regarding this. So, please watch it and if you like this video, please uh, share with your friends and subscribe. So we have seen today 5 important questions. Thank you for watching my video.